Hello there, my name is Mike Williams of Genesis, and I'm glad you're spending a few minutes with us today. So here we go on this quick story. Let's face it, as it relates to the markets and building wealth over time, too many have missed too much. Just for a few moments, take a ride back with me in time. It's the summer of 1982. We faced skyrocketing inflation, ridiculously high mortgage rates, a prime rate over 20%. The oil embargo was upon us. Long lines and gas costs over a dollar a gallon. Huge budget deficits, debt for as far as the eye could see. Political unrest at home, geopolitical unrest abroad. Terrible sentiment with majority feeling that our best days were already behind us in 1982. We faced a crappy jobs market and had just left the 70s. It was called a lost decade. Lengthy recession pressures had gutted manufacturing. The Rust Belt was destroyed, and the Dow? It closed at 970 on my first Friday. Today, it's all a lesson of sorts. Back then, too many focused on the many problems facing us, just like they do now. Indeed, it was hard to ignore, just like it is now. Experts who were telling us to expect the worst sure seemed right, and they felt right too, just like it feels now. But. History decided to teach us another lesson, a different lesson indeed. What few recognized at the time was that the U.S. was about to be hit by the largest demographic event ever witnessed. We came to know them as the baby boomers and changed things they did. All those who feared too much and focused on problems missed what was coming. That was then, but 20 years from now, yet another lesson will have been taught. We have a choice. We can participate in the fear and problems of today and risk missing a larger event. Or we can realize something else is unfolding again, just like 1982. Something better than we can currently imagine. You see, there is one common theme uniting the lost decade right before 1982 and the lost decade we just lived through. They both served as resting points, like lunch stops on a long pathway of wealth building opportunity. Each being just before, huge demographic shifts never witnessed before in the United States. Then it was the baby boomer. And while too many focused on problems, fear, and the dark horizon ahead, the world changed. Today, it's something even bigger and it is rolling slowly towards us. And the kicker? Nothing will stop it. It is the huge tailwind no one speaks of or even yet notices. It is lost in the frenzy over problems just like it was in 1982. Now, it's Generation Y. 100 million strong, bigger, bolder, better than the baby boom. 100 million humans set to begin exploding onto the economic landscape of the United States. 100 million people doing generally predictable things humans do. The same general things all people do as they grow up. It's the 1982 playbook all over again. Likely just as surprising and unexpected to many, just as it was then. Remember the lesson from our time machine trip together back to 1982. The Dow was under a thousand. Today, it has grown 18 times over, even as every single thing we are afraid of today has already happened. Don't make the mistake of getting lost in fear. Markets are people, and it's now about Generation Y. Like it or not, they are coming, a hundred million of them. And the world, well, it will change again.